In some month of 1996, Toy Story was released on VHS. However, between October 1st to October 31st, 2001, Toy Story was being sold one VHS at a flea market. The day was October 7th, 2001. And I was at one area at the market. A man was selling a Toy Story cassette. I bought it, and went home. I inserted it into my VHS player. And it opened regularly. But it was wavy at the part when Andy picks up Woody. But when Woody said his four classic words, you're my favorite deputy, it immediately skipped to Woody and Andy on the couch, everything seeming a little bright, and was in a jiggly kind of effect. Then it showed, when Andy picked the box, but it was pixelated. Then it showed a clip of a plane, and then it went to the scene where Buzz introduced himself to the toys, on where he lives, at Sector 4. For some reason, that part was in Spanish. Then it just suddenly went static through half of the whole scene. Then it went back to the movie, as I watched, I heard someone outside my house. I looked and it was the mailman. He told me. You've got a package. I then replied. I didn't order anything. I accepted it and opened it anyway. A Toy Story fan club pin? I've never ordered this. As I looked behind, the TV was paused but I didn't stop it. I said I would be back after the situation happened. Finally, I went back to watching my tape. I went down my basement and what do you know, my dog, Chuck, was there. I asked. Chuck, are you okay? And he barked with effort, when he went up to me. I hugged him. I went to drink a cup of coffee, because I felt like I had a rough day. It was awful. I was not amused, because the mailman gave me another Toy Story pin. I said in a very upset voice. What is with all the pins? October 9th, 2001. After Toy Story 2 was released at the same flea market, I bought that tape too. When I went home, I put in the tape four days later. Ages ago, I was a huge fan of Toy Story. My parents would always tuck me in bed and put on Toy Story. I loved that movie so much. I started having a weird feeling about something. After four days, I just put in the Toy Story 2 VHS. It began with static for two or four minutes. It was really weird. October 10th, 2001. I will never forget the day I saw Woody staring at me at Disneyland. I went three weeks after the tape situation but we don't care about Woody staring and stuff. One day I met Randy Newman, singer of Toy Story songs, and I asked him how he was doing and he felt making music for Pixar. He didn't say anything but he played me a song on the piano. It had a hint of you've got a friend in me in it. I got the hint that he would rather not go back to Pixar for the bad times that happened. I configured my problems years later, but we will talk about that at the end of the story. October 11th, 2001. I said, you know what, I am finished with dealing with this movie. So I got rid of the first movie, and went to a picnic area to have a little picnic. A little kid was watching Toy Story on his portable TV. I asked him, where did you get that portable TV, and his mom said. Anthony, let's go. As I ate my pizza and gave my dog a biscuit, I went to the playground area and it was completely empty. The only thing there was a woody doll, abandoned, buried under the grass. I dug it up and brought it home with me. October 12, 2001, I stared at the doll and put it in my closet. As I was watching the tape of Toy Story 2, it had a random code message on it. It said, 2FF7G223ND555. I wrote it down and went back to Pixar Studios. I asked John Lasseter, what is this code, and he replied. Oh, see you later, we are working on a new movie. In a very nervous voice. He gave me a Buzz Lightyear fan club pin. October 21st, 2001. Nothing really happened on the past eight days, they were like any regular day. I was watching Family Matters. The episode was Little Big Guy. It was that one episode when Steve and Carl accidentally get shrunk by Steve's wickety whack invention. Toy Story was paid handsomely for its big budget in the box office. I thought to myself, I wonder what happened to the Toy Story Woody doll I found at the park. I looked in my closet and his voice box sounded like the batteries were going out. October 25th, 2001. 
One day, I came to my nearby Starbucks for a coffee, and when I went home, Woody was on the floor, and the more days passed by, his face was sculpting and his voice box got more decrepit. After that happened, I went in my garage and things were getting strange. I was at Burger King and I got a Whopper. A kid was looking at me. I asked him what he needed and he didn't say anything, but he just went to get a kid's meal and just left. October 26, 2001. The doll began smelling like... Tooth decay? Woody's voice box was gone. His hands were missing, his face was melting, and the cotton he was stuffed with was burning out. I was scared, because my dog was alone in the garage. I got rid of the Woody doll and went for a walk to the park. October 28, 2001. Yet again. A few days were skipped, because nothing had happened on those past two days. I have lost half of what happened on the tape situation, and I met a physical doctor. He knew how much losing half of the memory meant to me, so he used a shot that knocked me out. I don't remember what happened much on that day, but I remember I heard a child chuckling, because he remembered something he thought was funny. October 31st, 2001. It was Halloween day for me and my dog. We went trick or treating, and got so much candy. I still think of that horrible day, but when a kid knocked on my door and wanted candy, instead of giving him some of mine, I gave him the Toy Story tape. But I fixed all the errors on the tape, and gave him my Buzz Lightyear and Toy Story fan club badges. He said, Thank you. And despite the fact, this was the same kid that I encountered at Burger King. I got rid of the tape, but I still remember a little bit of the Toy Story doll inside of me.